Welcome back to Let's Play Traffic Giant with me, Squaw. When we left off, we're buying another train for Line 14 because Line 14 just has too many passengers because, well, it was a very unexpected success. So there we go. That's an extra train. So let's just chuck it on that line. And by the way, in, in less than a year, let's see how much Line 14 has made. It's made 351,000, by the way. It's outpacing a lot of lines. And I think it's only going to be making more because my money is just now coming in at a very, very high rate. So, yeah, we... This railroad has basically won the mission for me because our company value is now at 5 million and it's climbing rapidly. So I think we're easily going to be hitting 12 million by the end of the game as we have just passed into the second half of the mission, by the way. And oh, Jesus, what is going on here? Oh, it's the Congo line of buses, I can see. Yeah. May need to get some trams going because that's not exactly a good look there. And by the way, in terms of percentage, we've got 30 percent leisure and 20 percent work. So we're getting there with percentages at least. So first things first on the agenda, I'm going to start building a new tram line because I'm going to turn line five into a tram. Uh, why? Well, I had a look at it from a previous episode and I thought, you know what, these numbers are just crazy. I think I could just turn this into a tram because otherwise it's just going to get clogged up with buses. So I'll just build up the tram line, which goes, I mean, see, look at that, 255 people. I fucking need a tram line here. So, um, this, I'm trying. Tram building tools are not the most intuitive, actually, I don't know what I can do. Uh, just take out the obstructing buildings for the second so I can build this a little easier. So, let's make sure it all follows the line. So, it goes up here, up here, down, down here. There we go, down this road, and the link up. So, there we go. And I have enough for Bajo CT120, by the way, so that is what I shall be buying on this line but first things first let's just set up the line oops um up we go so here we go new line so starting here we go up up and then i can still hear, hear those city railroad trains but i just go actually i knew do you need some more tram lines i need some which go down here and then onto the road so there we go so now let's um I can only afford two Bajo CT120s by the way, and I think that's what I'm going to buy, because if there's 255 people there, I'm, I'm just going to need two Bajo CT120s. It's common logic. And by the way, two of our lines have just hit £1 million profit, by the way, Van Brisbane Tower and uh, Dock Factory East, lines two and three. They are doing absolutely phenomenally brilliant, and that is making me a happy chappy figure as well. I'm not sulking. Anyway, let's get back going, so there we go. So we'll buy the, um, I, yeah, I did confirm it, so. Cinema tram car. And I shall buy, I can afford another city railroad, actually. I'm, I'm really liking these city railroads. I'm not sure if I'm going to build any more of this mission, but I, I am loving these. I'm, we are going to be seeing a lot more of these in the uh, future missions, because they, they, they're just fucking cool. Um, and look, by the way, six million company value. How much? How much further can it go up? I mean, just just, just look at my uh, available cash coming in. It's just coming in at a, well, just a ridiculous rate. I will buy one CT one twenty just for this minute, just be, just because obviously as I take line five out, this line might not be like might not instantly catch fire while the frames lag like absolute jeopardy shit. Um, line Five. Oh shit, I, I've, I've scrolled too far, I've scrolled too far. Oh, by the way, Stadium of Pants is, gonna, is just past one million. Oh shit. Right, here we go. Cinema Core, come on. Right, pull that line. So, who else could use buses? Line 1, you could use buses. So, have yourself an extra man, GLX2. Line 4, you could use a bus. So, have yourself a man, GLX3. And who should be the lucky receiver of a Mam GLX4? Line 2. Line 2 Line two deserves an extra Mam GLX4. There we go. Alright, so now I've just got to really work on keeping on top of my numbers now and, well, all that shit, but shit. I just get so many people at line, <laughs> this line now, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. 69 people in the catchment area, but I get 73 people waiting at it, which is odd. Just got. Jeez. I mean, these, these trains are barely coping, to be honest. Like, you know what? I think I will buy the really, really fancy one, the uh, the one that kept the kit just became available. Because I also think having access to the best tech also probably pushes up my company value. So, 
If I can show I have the best tech there, that would be awesome. And those who get to ride the awesome train are obviously the uh, customers I like a lot. So it's 1,150,000, we've pretty much got enough money for it, so just let's just be patient. Oh, sugar lumps, we should probably be buying Lieutenant Elephants for uh, <laughs> Line 9 because it clearly fucking needs them. Alright, get an extra Lieutenant Elephants Line 9, please. Come on, come on, come on. I have to review of these, like, have a proper in depth review of the, of the performance of some of these lines as well, I think. Um, which I might do this episode actually because I think I think I'm pretty much fair in terms of goals now. It's just really I'll is I'll isolate whatever um, whichever like buildings I don't have a piece of a pie yet and see what I can do to get more of uh, there we go. I think that was a lieutenant elephant that just went past there and it just it just it just got well it came full. And ooh. Line 8, you really do need more stuff, you know, fuck, fuck getting a new train. Line 8, you need a, loot, a new Lieutenant Elephant, because... Uh, right, there you go, a new Lieutenant Elephant. Um, I mean, what can I do to get more? I mean, how, how, what are we on now? We're, we're nearly 7 million company value, so we're getting a million company value by way in like every 3 months, so... Yeah, that, that, that's outside, you know, I think we could probably definitely shoot for 20 million at this rate. Or 16 million. Let's just see how it goes. But I've only got 27% leisure traffic, so it's dipping up and down a bit. Probably because of these waiting times, people obviously turn away from my waiting times to get out. Like, if they spiral out of control, fuck it. I've got enough money for the, uh, for the really cool trend, so let's buy it and we'll, we'll have a look at it as I uh, chuck it on. So I'll just zoom in so I can have a nice close look at it. Right. Where is it? Ooh, it looks cool. There we go, it's picked up some people. Off it goes, that's the super fancy train. Let's go collect more people just on this, well, absolutely fucking magnificent line. I don't know why, but I hope, I, I'm really going to have to get around to playing the uh, Railroad Tycoon series at some point in um, in, in, in my Let's Play career, because um, I know of uh, my particular favourite Railroad Tycoon game was actually made by the same guys, same, not the same gay, <laughs> the same guys who were ma who made uh, Tropico One, which is a game well, which I've only played a tutorial for, but it's a game I really like. Um, so I, I'm definitely gonna give I'm definitely gonna give that game a try. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Ever since I was a young kid, I've just had this thing for railways. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not exactly like a clued up gay on trains and that, but I, I did used to own a, a really sweet train set and I watched an unnatural amount of Thomas the Tank Engine um, but I just, I don't know, it's not about trains and trams I like, you know, this is like my perfect game in a way, <laughs> if it had better sound mixing. Um, anyway, so let's um, stop drifting off, um, what other buildings like actually, so let's look at this theatre, I control 330 people. However, people from this district also can frequent the theatre, so this is an opportunity for a new bus line, yeah, so it'll be going this way, so it'll be going, it'll be covering uh, this area here near the city hall, so let's just uh, make a rough sketch of what the line would look like, uh, line 12, you're not making a lot of money yet, oh wait, I thought I canned line 12, did I? Oh no! Wait, I can for the uh, linking line. I'm so well. Yeah, you know what? Let, I'm gonna let line twelve continue doing what it does. It's making it's making a small profit, but you know what? I'll give it a city fox just to help it on its way because waiting times getting a bit shit. So you, you, it's not much, but I'm not. I, you don't need anything bigger than a city fox, really. So there you go. An extra city fox. It's already made a grand. That 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 should help out. So anyway, um, let's get back to uh, sketching out this nice new line. Uh, so, new line, and uh, we'll go to the Fiatra, then we go, oh shit, no, uh, stop, um, I need to make, I need to use a stack point that isn't on the tram, so it'll go up this road, this Woodley Wobby Road, and I'll put a new bus stop in, and then I want to go down this road, and then up this road, up here, up here, just 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 to save pain for new buses, and then by the theatre, 
There we go. All right, it's a bit of an awkward lag set. I have to double back on one particular place, but I think it'll work because if people who work at the city hall want to use a line, then they can use this this line. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be a little two for one package here. Um, so 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 so. Nice set up. So let's give it a nice little name. I'll just call it Fiatri. Yeah, yeah, and I'll back, I'm not going to get you a City Fox, I'll give you a GLX2 just to start you off. So this is a new Line 5 by the way, it's pretty much right next to where it used to live. And uh, by the way, Line 16 is doing very well, it's um, relatively on top of its waiting times and relatively on top of its um, uh, passengers, so uh, good, good, good for you, good for you. How much of that cinema do I control now by the way? 455 people, there we go. Uh, 102 for the shopping centres and then 166 for that shopping centre, but I really don't care about shopping travel. They're just a, bit, a little bit of extra cash for me. Uh, new line. Hey, we're getting some people from New Line 5. I already get 290 people from it, which I'm assuming is mostly from the tram. But, oh well, it's a few extra people, isn't it? Uh, we've got this. Oh, that's a fire brigade. I, I, keep, I keep thinking that's a church. They really need to change that fire brigade. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have that little titchy building serving this entire city. I mean,. Traditionalism has to stop at a place, guys. Um, who else can I get my... How am I doing with that stadium, by the way? Uh, ooh, 486, and it needs a new bus. Um, it shall be treated to a Lieutenant Elephant, because they're pretty much the most attractive of the conventional buses, by the way. They have an attractivity of 35, which is five more than the MAM line, which peaks at 30. So, actually, I think I'm... Oh, shit, no, 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 no. Um, actually, I put that line, five. I think we're reaching the, the part of the campaign now. Actually, I'm starting to. I'm gonna have to really actually start thinking about breaking away, like big, like big time breaking away from conventional methods now. Like, we, like I think this is where buses will no longer serve us as much. They're gonna start getting shifted to the side for these city railroads and for these trams. Cause, yeah, I mean. I know the buses serve me reliably, they are, they are probably the fastest and the ones I can probably get the most out, like I can get loads of them up and running and they are the cheapest, but at this rate it looks like trams and city railroads, they're going to be my ca my capacity carriers and they're going to be the ones who will really be bringing in the, you know, the, the big dough. I'm, I'm still astonished at how much I get off this city railroad, I mean it's doing absolutely brilliant. Um, I am thinking of upgrading line 7 into a tram line. Let's just say, I mean, look, I've nearly got the majority of that stadium. Oh, God, line 8. Need, need more buses. You know, I, I could upgrade it to a tram, but you know what? I think we'd have that situation I have it. I had in um, in Peckham, where I extend, where basically, I, you know, I had that line. Lots of demand. What did I do? I spammed trams, and it re I actually, just, I think it fucked me up worse than it actually did me good. But, Got two more lieutenant elephants running the line, so hopefully that'll uh, keep things going. So, um, just while we're coming to the closing part of this year, and by the way, one nearly nine million <laughs> company value. So, um, yeah, that is definitely sorted now. Um, I, I've, just, I've, you know, I've just done it. I've, I've hit that point, you know, that sweet spot where my profits are just through the fucking roof. Um, so let's look for leisure facilities. So they'll be the ones in orange. So let's start from the top. Oh, at least from the outside. So we've got these guys, of course. So we've got the, uh, the cinema centre. 386 people. Um, I think I've pretty much got all I want to get from that at the minute. I don't really see any use for getting more people. Um, and obviously we have the indoor tennis courts. We've got 85, uh, 159 of that. But the thing with the tennis courts is they are really far too... Like, their people are really... Far, far, far too dispersed. But uh, here's one I haven't noticed yet, just near the uh, red apartments. A uh, sports read it. Only 50 people. Let's just have a little look at it. So, uh, oh, well, it ain't really much. I guess that's why everyone uses it. And where, do it's, where is its clientele coming from? All the way over here. This residential building. Well, yeah, you, you can already forget it. But hello there, little Linda. Ooh! 500 people visit this indoor tennis car. And they all come from this line. Right, hang on. This is covered, and yet are you guys. Why are you guys not using? Why are you guys not using this for you, for your tennis court? Why? Why? Tickets are far too ex. Oh, fuck off with your stupid tickets. Ugh, I'm getting sick of ticket prices being too expensive. Um, I guess while I'm here, other things I can do. You know what? 
we'll maximise our staff efficiency in terms of salary. So there we go. We'll get them up to it to 800 a month, and then I'll um, put this up to uh, there we go. Maximum reliability for vehicles, maximum staff friendliness. So there we go. That's just gonna mean even more for me. Line six, you know, what? get an extra lieutenant elephant for line six, please. Um, I think actually I actually just bought two lieutenant elephants, but oh well, oh well. You never know when you need an extra lieutenant elephant. I think line, line oh sh just line seven, man. How many? I, I only have four buses running on line seven. I have eight buses, by the way, running on <laughs> line eight. Ooh, jeez. This stadium seems to be a little problem cause. Anyway, let's just look at this big theatre here, then there's a little theatre. Oh, I don't have anyone from this theatre, actually. I'm going to, right, we're doing that theatre next. I've got 436 people from that theatre. Alright, that's not a bad number. Not a bad number at all, but right, let's do this theatre then. So, looks like I've got people from here, 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 and here. So, you know what, I'm not even going to bother building a bus line. I'm going to build a tram line. So, but... I'm going to build it next episode because we are at the end of the year. Yeah, I, I'm not going to build it um, now when, I, when basically the year is about to end. So that is going to be our goal for next time. We are going to do a line for this theatre, try and bolster our leisure traffic further. It's, it's, it's just hanging around the 30 zone at the minute. So let's try and get it higher because we are, we are now, we've now just, by the way, we have just pushed 10 million company value. I think that is a new record now. I am sure. I am sure that is a new record, and that is an absolutely brilliant record to break. Let's just quickly grab what this year's profits were, by the way. I made a pro uh, total profit, two million pounds. Two, two million. And look how much I spent on new vehicles, by the way. Three million on new vehicles, most of which were trains. Servicing costs, gee, I'm paying over one million a year in servicing costs now. However, I this year I brought in a total revenue of seven million a hundred and well, yeah well there you go there we go there, there are the figures I brought in a fig a, a revenue of seven million one hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred sixty pounds I am now the Lord of Lifford and next episode we're gonna hit that first star and we're gonna try for two so see you on the next episode folks